Hey guys, this is J19 brought to you in our video, and tonight we're gonna deep dive into a theory I came up with, and it's pretty out there. So, uh, hope you guys are buckled up and ready to roll for this. This is be my first, like, really wild theory that I just came out of nowhere. I just thought about it, and, uh, yeah, I want to share this with you guys tonight. But before we get started, hit the bell notification to stay notified, subscribe if you're new, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this type of content. Uh, it helps my channel grow. And with that said, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to watch the ending of Intermission. Before we do that, this is a warning. Sp spoilers ahead. So if you have not played Intermission, you don't know the story of the ending, I would recommend you playing Intermission if you can. Um, if you want to avoid spoilers, now is the time to leave. So with that said... Let's get started. We're going to watch this first, and I will do my theory right afterwards. Hey, Barrett? Were you really walking the whole way? Yep. Calm's still pretty far, though, isn't it? Another full day, give or take. Question. When my mom says a full day, she means from the time you get up in the morning till the time you go to bed. But for me, it means from the time you get up in the morning all the way through till the time you get up the next morning. So which is it for you? Gotta go with Elmira on that one. <sighs> That's a relief. Is it, though? <laughs> Cloud, bet you've had to hoof it from sunup to sundown tons of times. This is all just same old, same old, right? That's right. But even so, we're all gonna need to stop and rest. Especially you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, marching into the unknown ain't easy. But don't worry, cause I'm here to lead the way. <laughs> That's comforting. Of course it is. <laughs> All right, everyone. Mm -hmm. Let's stop here for a minute. Leader's orders. Now breathe in that fresh air. Oh. Uh? Actually, scratch that. Let's uh, save it for later. When we're not so close to Midgar. Guess this is goodbye, City of Mako. Like this? Yep, just like that. Cool. <laughs> hmm? oh, no way! A car! Look at 
Where's a roof when you need one? Gonna be okay? Should be, but... Weird. My stomach's in knots. That's its way of telling you it's hungry. Let's move! see how you been listen hey uh, uh, I'm back All right, guys, that's the, uh, that's the ending of Intermission. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but tonight's video is about a particular point view, uh, uh, point of view that you see at the end in the church that I want to dis uh, discuss. And my mind is going wild here because, um, those are per because when you see Zach come in into the church, you do not see anybody standing in the flowers. But as soon as it gets done looking at every little, uh, every single NPC that they've shown, then it pans out to where you can see none but like a blurry shot of the flowers and somebody standing in the flowers. And then all of a sudden you see a, like a shock looking look, look on uh, Zach's face, and you see him go, Aerith? Like he's like saying, like, like in a, like a, a shock, like he's stunned at what he's seeing. And, uh, I want to talk about that tonight. So it's nice video is about, okay, get this. The Zach's timeline here is the Terrier timeline. And guess what? It is the alternate timeline where things are a lot more different. A lot more different. It's not what we think. And uh, my mind went bonkers when I was watching a stream of a podcast with Baby Seal, Sleep Easy, uh, Lola Bunny, and I forget what the other one was. But anyways, uh, we was I was chatting in this in the in the chat room while they was discussing the last Setra, which is fantastic, by the way. But I just had a feeling, we was all talking about that scene of somebody standing in the flowers, and my mind just went nuts. Like, I just thought, what if this is the alternate timeline where nothing makes sense? Because if you guys remember, if you play Remake or even the original, that Aerith was teasing Cloud that, oh, maybe Turks were looking for me, thought I'll be a, an excellent candidate for Soldier, be a perfect fit. What if, what if in Zack's timeline, when he, when you pan out from seeing all the NPCs, you see the look on his face, and you just see like a blurry shot of somebody standing in the flowers, where their clothing is like not matching anybody in the room, in the church. What if, guys, what if that is Aerith in a soldier outfit in Zack's timeline? What if Aerith Ashley in that in that universe in that timeline where Zach's at where Zach is alive, Aerith Ashley joined Soldier. She actually was it was as a soldier in his timeline. Wouldn't that be something? I got to thinking. I'm like, you know, everybody's making a little 
fun and, and trying to figure things out and wonder who that was. But then my mind blurted out, I blurted out in chat that what if it's Aerith in a soldier outfit? Well, and that would that be a shocking result for Zach to see. He sees like the, all these people mourning and, and, and aches and pains. And all of a sudden, he's like, Aerith? Because he sees somebody standing in the flowers. And it looks like if you look at the boot, let's go back, let's look. I'm going to turn this down. We'll look at it real quick. Right there. If you look at that, it looks like a, it could be soldier's boots. It could be soldier's pants. I know the soldiers have baggy pants and stuff, but what if, what if that's Aerith in a, uh, in a disguise? Um, because if you look at that part, and we go back to this part right here, and listen, and listen to him speak. Listen, let's see, listen to what he says. Aerith? See what I mean, guys? See what I mean? Oh, sorry, this phone is a little bit touchy, but yeah, watch. So Zach walks in. Let's see. Nothing. No air. Nobody. Nobody standing there. There's one person in the, in the in the flower bed. There. Then. Of course, got that person. But somebody's standing right there. Maybe that could be, like I said, it could be Aerith. What happened? What if that's Aerith just comes in the scene? Even though there is a person in, hang on. I don't, it don't look like anybody. Yeah, because the shot shows, yeah, the shot shows actually. Yeah, it shows the person actually facing towards Zach. So I wonder. Yeah, I wonder that you know I'm gonna stick with my uh, wild theory here, and I think that's uh, that's Aerith. I believe that's that might be Aerith. Hey, I'm throwing it out there. That's a wild theory of mine. I you know it could be alternate universe uh, timeline where Zach's alive and Aerith actually because her little joke in the uh, Beagle timeline, Beagle stamps timeline. That, with the change in the Terrier timeline, she actually joined Soldier. That could be her. I don't think there's that one guy standing in the flower bed as he was facing the opposite direction. This looks more like in the center shot, facing the tr facing towards Zach. And Zach, all Zach has to say... That's what that's what I'm thinking. I'm that's what I'm thinking. I just had that thought, and I want to share with that with you guys because what if Square Enix, with the Zach's timeline, is going to show like the alternate universe of what everybody's doing? Zach's no longer dead. He's alive in this timeline. Aerith is no longer a flower girl, but she with her teasing cloud. That she, oh, she could be a perfect candidate for soldier. What if she actually joins soldier? And as she is a female soldier for Shinra in this timeline. Makes you think about what Bear's role is. What Cloud's role is. Red 13. And all the others. So with that said, I just want to throw that wild theory out there for you guys to speculate. And uh, talk about it in the comments below. And tell me what you guys think. What you guys think that could be? Do you think that could be just that guy? Or do you think... Possibly, it could be Aerith in a soldier uniform. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just want to do a a, a quick video, a theory video, and uh, it's wild. It's wild. I got people talking in that podcast for sure. And uh, hey, you never know. We'll never know what Square Enix is up to, but anything's possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a weird one. 
I'm not really super good at this type of stuff, but I figured I'd just throw my theory out there and uh, show you guys the ending of Intermission. And uh, if you guys dig this video, you guys want to see more theories and, and uh, speculations going forward, uh, throw a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Um, I will be back tomorrow night to stream uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I'll get going through that story again. Um, I'm really liking what that's at. But yeah, with that said, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, smash the like button if you didn't. Smash the dislike button if you didn't. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notification to stay notified for content such as this. And when I go live for Ratchet and Clank tomorrow night. So with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night. Keep on keeping on. I'll catch you all on the next video. Be safe out there. Be nice to each other. Uh, description to my... Down below, links to my Twitter, my Discord. Feel free to join. We can chat about this theory and many other things. So with that said, you guys stay safe. I'll talk to you guys later.